What up? What's up, old man? Hey, 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 Elber. Where you been at? Oh, you know. You've been putting around on a little boat, I know. Yeah, I've been driving this big rig. Well, throwing fishing right off the side. Yeah, I've seen the video. That's illegal, Elber. I don't do illegal things. Is it really? <laughs> uh, yeah. Unless you have a fishing license for every state in the United States. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought you might have meant it was actually illegal, illegal to fish off the side of that. It is. Off a of barge. Yeah, you're not I supposed mean, to. You gotta, yeah. Well, it is quite illegal. People do it all the time, though. Nobody says anything about it. If they say anything to you, what are you doing? Getting supper. <laughs> Glad the game warden wasn't around when he saw that deer on the shore a couple Did, hours back. I wonder if the <laughs> IV ever went down for red box. Why is that red? I've got more gap filling. Yeah, J.P. Morgan's got their big hurrah thing this morning, don't they? Or today. Yeah, J.P. Morgan's supposed to be doing the thing. That's why they're on the list. Oh, I bet the IV's pretty high, though. Yeah, the IV's... That's actually not that high. I don't know, man. Spy is... I kind of wish you wash you right now. Uh, quick question. Did I paper trade options before getting in real money like on TOS? Uh, the honest answer to that question is no. I did not. I didn't trade options at all though for like the first six or seven years that I traded. I just traded shares. I still trade shares. So I trade only shares like these range plays. Like uh, basically this whole list of range plays. I only trade with shares. Because a lot of them are less volatile, like this guy. The entry would have been for ale, and I actually played this with an option because the options were really cheap. We got in down here and then sold at this target here. It made really good money on that, so 57 to 63. And then this one, same kind of story. You get in at the bottom of the range. And then sell at the top of it. 
this one here, same story. Little range, really. I take the low hanging targets though, personally. It's 99, 133. There's another one. EVGO, we played that one with the options. 690 to 960. Um, this Vanguard Dividend ETF. I didn't actually play this one. It looks like it would have worked out pretty good though. We got in yesterday at 104 ish. It's 106 now. This one actually broke the range down, so I didn't play it. It was a smaller range. Right in this level. These are, I like playing these with shares. Because I can buy, I don't know, even just like 25 or 30 shares and still make this one's three bucks a share. Uh, this one's like twenty bucks a share, ninety-nine to a hundred. That's actually thirty-one dollars a share, ninety-one to one hundred and thirty-two. This one is uh, seven, three bucks a share. This one's one hundred and four to one hundred and fifteen, so eleven dollars a share. Did I actually break out? No, it broke down. Every one of these did well though. Good morning, Nate. Do I want to talk about Apple? Do I see any good setups happening? Uh, let's look. Right. Yeah, it was a good setup Friday. <laughs> oh, it was a good setup yesterday, if you look at it, really. That was Friday. Yeah. It's a really good setup yesterday. Yeah, and I missed it. I wasn't even looking. If you bought it closed yesterday, because look where it bottomed. Uh, a new follower right here. Thank you for the follow, Adam. You're a hero. So really, this is like a balanced price zone, and that's kind of where it bottomed at. And then if you look at it on an hourly chart, really bullish pattern. And this kind of coincided as well with a. Spy bottom also, like a weekly spy demand level, and Apple's really correlated with spy, so this would have been a pretty good trade. Honestly, though, you'd have to contend with all this. It's a lot of resistance above us here, so if you were going to take that trade, you'd have had to have been very aggressive with it, and. This kind of would have been the setup anyway for a shorter term. If you're playing this like really long term, it's still a really good setup to like this location, 160. But you're going to have to take on a lot more risk because you'd need to get in at like 137, 138 with a stop at 132. Especially even if this pattern continues higher. Like today, get in above the high of this at 141 with a stop at 132. So you have like an $8 stop. So you'd have to have like a $16 target, which would be easy $16 if it retests the high. It's very difficult for me personally to hold something for a $16 target though. So Unless I'm just not watching it, like 
That's why I like to buy shares of things, because then I just buy them on my other accounts and I don't watch them. I just let them do their thing. Twitter? Um, Twitter's difficult to say, because it's really news-driven right now. It's kind of... Consolidating right now. Yeah, every bad rumor you hear about Elon Musk right now, he can sit there and watch Tesla and Twitter uh, prices move up or down. Twitter's really just consolidating right now. So, you have to wait and see if it goes this way or if it goes this way. E20. Gotta be ready. Opening range plays on spy. It's not really much printing a lot of volume. Apple's Apple and AMD are printing much higher than normal volume. So is Nvidia. Best Buy is gonna be one to watch today with earnings tomorrow. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Do you want to come love me? Do you want to come love me? You say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Just my puppy doggy. Like when I ruffle your ears. Oh, yes, you're a sweetheart, and everybody loves you. Okay, go away. dog is weird Elver if you pet her like even just once she'll bother you for the next 45 minutes <laughs> don't you stop petting me you asshole she ain't want petting she's want some of that coffee oh she can't have my coffee you can't have no coffee no. she doesn't like coffee my other dog likes <laughs> booze <laughs> She doesn't like coffee. You're texting me. Oh, that's my uh, account balance. Fuck. 52022. My long term account balance is. One of my long term account balances is $53,640.63. Personal rate of return year to date minus 16.5%. Oof. I don't even want to start talking about politics right now, Elver. <laughs> I didn't know we were. Oh, so every time I look at my freaking account balance, this, this one account, I get text message updates every Monday. 16% down on the year. Hmm. It went from, I don't know, 60, 66,000 or something down to 50, 53,6. 
Oof. I just keep buying stuff and hoping it comes back. Because <laughs> you don't you don't sell anything in the long term until, well, for a while anyway. I wish I'd have rigging went flat on it as soon as fucking Joe Biden got elected. Anyway. <clears throat> you love how grown men turn into toddlers when a dog comes around? I love my doggies. <laughs> I like dogs more than I like people. Oh, wow. Tri-State Capital fucking mooned just now. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I only have 10 shares, but... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Very healthy gap up. I think we short spied open Elber. I mean, unless it breaks out, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Keep going over here looking at Best Buy. Hmm. I keep looking at Best Buy. I was looking at Best Buy, but the premiums are really high. Look at JP Morgan. Damn, son. Premiums are really high on Best Buy. Look at, oh my god, Bank of America is going to run off without us. Shit. Oh, that hurts my soul. I was looking at Bank of America yesterday and almost bought it. Oof. That sucks. XLF is doing really well this morning. Just looking at some uh, some scanners and stuff. a little bit on the QQQ Friday. Did you? Oh, yeah, but I screwed up. I went to sell one of four. <laughs> I think I've sold all four of them. And then it now rocketed up. But by the end of the day, it was lower than what I sold it for. So. Mm. Do I think we at the bottom yet? I called the bottom like two days ago. So, who knows? I thought we was at the bottom around in here, and then, I don't know. It's, it's uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that's in some really, really, what, I mean, value locations for, for me. If you just look at the weekly chart of almost anything, like, Look at JP Morgan. It's given up like a year's worth of gains. Like these are these are five day candles. JP Morgan gave up like a year and a half almost worth of gains in like several weeks. Kraft Heinz gave up like two months worth of gains in a day. Spy gave up like a year's worth of gains. And three or four weeks. That's crazy. Lift. Lift is at 
Freaking 2020 lows right now. That's insane. Oh, Spy, don't sell off yet. Okay. Five minute candle. Ooh, fuel sells up 25%. Let's load up the puts. Oh my god, they're so expensive. 213. Five minute candle. I bought a spy foot. I probably got in too early. That's fine. this baby I did get in way too early shit that's fine That's what I'm talking about. 235, 237, 37. Not like this, Spa. Oh wow, GoVX just blasted off. We can get some more people in here. Come on, 66 people in here. Nah, <laughs> in Discord. Like and <laughs> like <a> subscribe. <laughs> Come on, Spy. Go on down there, bud. There's no reason for you to be doing this weird stuff that you're doing right now. So we opened up at a pretty strong resistance. Now I just need you to follow through. Come on down here, retest this 390 low. That's what I'm talking about. 6%. Ah. 2.40. 2.45. <sighs> 7%.
a new follower. Thank you for the follow. That's a big pin bar. Don't do it. Who was that? Jay Omani. Jay Omani. That's a cool name. Oh, come on, Spa. It's a little sketchy, Elber. Everything's a little sketchy right now. <laughs> oh, look at Neo. It broke yesterday's lows. Fifteen. 50. Damn, look at JP Morgan. Oh shit, spies up 10%. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about! 38 bucks. 40 bucks. Don't go up, go down, sir. 252. 256. 57. 65. That's what I'm talking about. It's 20%. 69. 75. 50 bucks. 76. I'm out at 75. Actually, I'm just going to take 260 something and get out of there. Uh, well, that didn't work. Damn, oh well. Let's wait a minute. Should have market ordered that bitch. Oof, that's going to bounce big time. Oh, Elber, I got screwed. <laughs> My 25% just went to 12. That's okay. Well, you better shake it again. We're going to get a double bottom. That's fine. Yeah. That's what I said. I think I'm bouncing just yet. I'm market order selling this bad boy this time. Forty. I'm taking the forty bucks. I got out at two sixty two, which is about three bucks less than what I wanted to get out at anyway, so I'm fine with that. Forty something yeah, dollars in gains. <laughs> Now I was going to hit for 388. Not sure how. I don't care, man. I made 50 bucks right out of the gates. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a good play. That's a good opening range break, honestly. I love it. Beautiful. It's perfect. That's my one of my favorite setups. You can do that one thing every single day. I'll fall on the damn floor if it runs down to 388. Oh, man. Look at it go. I should, nah. See, I'm not even sad about this. <laughs> that was a good play, though. I'll take $50 in gains, though. Right out of the first five-minute candle. Mmm.
Where's the support on spy? Let me see. Oh, it should be back now. Oh, you're back now. Yeah, that's not a crazy setup. You can do that every single day. No, I didn't mute it. You can play that like every day. Like you have this this range at open. It's just here. I mean, it's a really tight range already it open and then when the market opens this five minute candle was too big so I jumped down to a one minute chart and then this is the opening candle right so this still broke down. to the downside and then you short as that breaks and this is kind of really the trade <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It actually just retests on that. I'd say stick with the five minute opening range, really. Like, if this is the first five minute candle at open, when this low breaks, you can go short. And then you just shoot for, you know, decent profits, really. I love that setup. It only works on minute six of open. <laughs> it's the only time you can play the opening range is at open. You can play gap fills into close too, which is another really good setup that happens every single day if there's a gap in the pre-market. <clears throat> Big reversal. Follower. Thank you for the follow. Esmeralda. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the bull crew. Let's see, look, this looks good. I kind of want to short this again, Elber. And I'm not above view up though. Oh, what is the Bank of America doing? Bank of America is really strong today. It's actually breaking out. So that traded through, so it's no good. I think Bank of America might actually run a little bit. 35.50 calls or 47 bucks. It's 35.77. 35 calls only 70 bucks. What's the delta on that? Delta's 51. I think we can get. 36, we can get a dollar out of that, I think. Ooh. That breakout holds anyway. I'm doing it. Let's try it. 74. I'm gonna try it. See what happens. I get one. <sighs> so I think this is gonna run two 
3570 something. Ooh. Oh, Neo. We missed it. Look at that. One of these 63 for 16s. Let's try that too. Maybe Morgan's still pushing up. I went long, Neo. <sighs> Spy needs to break above this level. Okay. Yeah, let's got that gap support here. So. Oh, what'd you do on it? I bought a $16 call for $64. I think we can look for like $16.80 something here, really. A new follow. Thank y'all for the follow. 95 Cadillac, number one. My man with the caddy. Jumping in hot with the caddy. Yes. 83 people here and only 27 likes. What's going on, folks? Ooh, both of those plays are up. Bank of America's up 10%. Neo's up 5%. Let's get it, son. I'm Batman. Very, very good. Continue to run, my friends. Oh, yes. Looking for 35.75. It's all about 50 more cents. That's a pretty solid breakout. Look at the volume. Big volume. Mm, Bank of America's up 20%. Neo is up 17%. That's a big pin bar. Let's get it. I think for Neo, though, we'll probably just look for right around here, 16, 17, probably. Depending on what happens. 15, 80, 16, 70. Very good, very good. Thirty-five, thirty-four. Let's go, Bank of America. You could have played that as an opening range break too. Probably been in before me, right? Well, we were watching Spy, but look, first five-minute candle, high above thirty-four eighty would be the entry. Thirty-four sixty, the stop. So twenty cent stop, and then now you're already up to. 35.40, so 34.80, 70 cents already gained with a 20 cent stop. This is a four to one trade already. And now we wait. Bank of America's up 
Neo looks good. I really think that they'll just probably aim for like right in here. That's 16, 15, 16, 10, somewhere around in there with Neo. Shit, I'm supposed to be marking this stuff. Where do we get in a Neo? Right here. Uh, where do we get in a spy? We shorted spy. Here. And we got out. Here. And then Bank of America. We got long here. What's up, sexy? Hey, Sankpo. Three hey, for baby. three so far today, buddy. Nice. Opening range breakout on spy. Fifty bucks. <laughs> Five minutes. I like it. Bank of America's up 30%. Still going. I think we got about 25 more cents in this run. Thoughts on Starbucks puts. How are we getting alerts? Um, I'm saying them out loud as I buy them. In the voice chat of the Discord. Uh, it's live on my, my screen here. Uh can't really type out an opening range breakout trade because it's very quick. If spy breaks over this resistance, it might be a good time to go long. Shank peas. Mm. Look I've here. Been, I've been buying pretty Look. regular, you know, on the whole downtrend. Look, there's no there's no resistance into 400 on an hourly chart at this point. You got that little gap there, 400. Spy breaks above these levels. It's going to be a real good day for the bulls, I think. Oh, it's not. A new follower. It's pretty sketchy right now, though. I almost want to short spy off of this. Neo, what are you doing, bud? Let's see. If Spy holds these levels, it could be a good day for the Bears. This is a pretty important, a pretty important place. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing to me, Bank of America? Hey, oh. Ben, man. Me? Oh, you know, just doing some stuff and things. Doing some stuff and things. Just doing stuff and things, driving a boat. I think if you're going to go long spy, now's the time to hit it. But I don't, I'm not doing it. Oh, I kind of want to do it. 
three ninety four. That's a dollar. One ninety nine. Two. Two four two hundred. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Going long spy, eh? Yeah, right off of VWAP. Let's see what happens. I might exit it like immediately, but we're going to see what happens. It's either going to work out or I'm going to get out with like a $10 loss, so I don't care. We'll either keep we'll either keep control of VWAP or we'll give it back and then I'll exit. So either way, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna give it back, which means I'm probably gonna get out. There's no volume. Yep, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm getting out. <clears throat> I lied. I took $20 loss. My bad. Oh, now it's going to bounce again. What the hell? What the hell? I'm going to go ahead and close Bank of America, too. Uh, it's up 15% still. I'm going to sell it at 85. I sold Bank of America. Oops. Good spy. See you later, buddy. I lied. I took $20 loss. Could have been much worse, Shankpo, the size of this candle. Uh -huh. The thing, though, is, is if you take that trade, I don't know, 10 times, you're probably going to win six of them. And if you lose 20 bucks, and you make 50 bucks on every one of them, you're going to come out ahead. Mm -hmm. 20, I, I don't think I've, with a VWAP trade, I don't think I've ever taken more than a $40 loss, but most of the time I either get, I get somewhere between 50 and and $100 in gains for it, and I've never taken more than $100, or a $40 loss with one contract. And the $40 loss is a very rare occasion when I'm like, eh, hey, just hold it for like two more minutes, and then this happens. You'd be mm -hmm. probably down like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks right now on this one contract if you did just say, ah, let me just see what happens for five more minutes. <laughs> right. So, you learn that lesson the hard way, eventually. Yeah. Did you ever look at Redbox? I did. I did look at Redbox this morning. I think, what the L? Why is that happening? What? I don't understand why this is happening. It went from $2 to $6 in five days.
six days. My bad. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. Uh huh. Is Spy going to bottom here again at three ninety one fifteen? Three ninety one eleven, whatever. Hello, Spy. What you doing? I am still in Neo. Three ninety one eleven is holding pretty good. Oh, he just broke. See you later, spy. Three ninety spy puts. Three ninety spy puts. Oh, did I just screw up? I think I might have just screwed up. Uh, maybe not. I think we're fine. That's what I'm talking about. Broke that low pivot. Went from 391.12 to 390.40. Carry on, sir. Carry on. Twitter's at the bottom of this channel. Well, he's, he's Kentucky, not Kansas. <laughs> Wonder how many people would get that. <laughs> I got it. What are you doing, Spy? It's going to do the opposite of what you Nifty wanted to do. P.E. I don't know what you're asking me. <coughs> oh, come on, Spy. Damn it, Neo. What the shit? There we go.
That's harsh. Neo's green. You got an SPR, you mean spy? <sighs> very good, very good. That man told put went green for a moment. <laughs> if I was up $4. <laughs> Got a windy mic. What the shit? Yeah, I thought Spy was gonna bounce off you up there, and then when it broke, then when it broke low a day, and no bueno. Now we wait. Did I lose a voice? No. Not this time, anyway. What are you doing to me, Spy? I am. Oh, my voice is dead. Hello? Can you Hello? hear me? Why can't I hear anybody? Say something. Hello? <gasps> okay, now I can hear you. What the hell just happened? <laughs> That's silly. Spy, go down. It's going the wrong way, Shang Po. Why is it going the wrong way? 
Krass. It's going the wrong way, Shang Paul. <laughs> Uh, not really. <clears throat> it's kind of going the wrong way. I wish it would just go straight down instead of retracing and doing stuff that it's not supposed to do. Mm. I will be right back. Okay. Ouch. That's painful. Oh my god, bro. What are you doing right now? You gotta be shitting me. Damn it. Oh, I failed. Don't do it, spy. Son of a bitch! <sighs> that 
hurts my very soul. Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, who's deleting my post now? I'm getting irritated. <laughs> Every time Spy fucking rejects below view up and I jump in, it goes right back up, Elber. I'm getting angry. <laughs> A new Are you fucking serious? Are you seeing this shit? Yep. Wow. Now that I sold it, it'll sell off again. Watch. Oh, that's harsh, dude. Uh, now it's time for you to take a crap. Twitter bounced right off of that trend line that I drew earlier. It's from 37 already to 37.50. Mm. My view up settings are default. Uh, for Spy to hit for that 388 like I was talking about earlier. You're not tricking me again, Spy. You can't get you to circle me in this time. You're not tricking me again, Spy. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Mm. 
Look at Bank of America go. It's very interesting. Yeah, see, look at that. That's a mighty big pin bar. What is that? Three ninety two, three ninety four, fifty. Look, sixty eyes start to creep back up a little bit. Uh -huh. Damn, Bank of America is about to hit that seventy five target. I called. That's okay. Spy started selling off, so had to jump out. Bank of America, 67, 68. Thirty-five, seventy-five. So close, Silver. At least there's some big red on the spy here. Uh, There's a start. It's kind of weak right here. When do you have to go back on the boat? Probably like three weeks, I think. Oh, damn. I really want a short spy again. Still riding mine. 392 foot. <laughs> Keeps teasing me.
I think spy is breaking. Breaking out? Oh, to the, oh, to the no. downside. Breaking oh. to the downside. Yeah, look. That's what I think, too. I tried to short it twice already and got boned. CCI. Up 23% now. Now it starts backing up. Oh, I almost bought that 392 put just now. Damn it, man. That would have went really good. <laughs> oh, wow. That would have been good. Let's try the 391. <sighs> Come, oh my Jesus, baby. Not like this. I will buy another one of these. Right up here. we break this high and then I'm getting out as soon as I get in it's gonna break this high are you kidding me <laughs> <sighs> I'm about to lose my shit dude <laughs> I swear to god what the hell That is hammered horse shit. I'm going back in. What the fuck? Dude, that makes me so mad. Nah, fuck. It's not very funny to watch at all. It rejected that fucking same price like one, two, three, four different times. And as soon as I get in, it broke out. What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh. That is kind of...
kind of comical though. Jesus. <clears throat> Look at Spike go. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you stop out yet, Elver? <laughs> nope, I didn't set a stop. <laughs> you didn't? Oh, so uh, what's your contract down? Like 80%? <laughs> 25. Oh, I should have quit after I got stopped out the first time. Jesus. But no, I got to try it twice more. You'll be more. back down here in a minute. No. I got to try it I twice more. That sucks. It sucks today for sure. That's unbelievable. Man, look at Twitter, though. Should have not traded Spy and traded Twitter off of my trend line. <sighs> oh, are you talking about a Twitter put? No, I had a look at my trend line. That would have been a pretty good call. Spy's breaking out. 34.55. is the high. Oof. I might close Neo here for 3% gain. It's topping again, too. Nah, fuck it, let it run. Let it run! Dude, that hurts my soul. Mm. Bruh. Should have stayed in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought today was going to be a good day when we went through for three at the open. Short Bank of America. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You better be. <laughs> it might actually go to thirty six thirteen. That's pretty crazy. Thirty five fifty six. That's my bad. I got caught up in some chops, Shang Po. Like an asshole. <laughs> Don't 
Tamam mı? Yani. I wonder what the 388 spy put would be worth if spy retests the 390 lows. What's the delta? 14. We're at 394. I'm doing it just because. Maybe. Considering doing it, just let it run all day. Mm, might be a little too late now. I feel like you could almost buy a spy strangle, like 388 puts, and 398 calls, like a $10 wide strangle for 100 bucks. I think you'd probably make some money. What do you think, Shank Po? Um, I'm not looking at the moment, so I'm probably not the good person to ask. Well, three, I suppose at 394 even, so if you bought the 398 calls yeah, you and could. the 390 yeah. and the 388 puts, I think you might make some money. Maybe. I do want to buy the 388 puts just for fun. Considering it. They're worth 40 bucks. 65 is the high. This buy might break out. I'm doing it. I'm buying this fucking put. Let's see what happens. It'll either work or it won't work. 40 bucks, I don't care. How is Neo red right now? I might close Neo next time it if it pops again. <coughs> Actually Neo doesn't expire for a week. That's a pretty strong level there. Oh, look, Spy's breaking out. I was actually really breaking <laughs> up. Looky there, Shankpo. Breaking above the pre market highs. I think that uh, the last few weeks have given us all a bearish outlook on the on the spy. Well, you know what they say. Who is calling me from Hello? Yeah. We'd like to call you about your car warranty. Okay. Yes.
out of here. What? Okay, I am here. I don't know. The internet keeps <laughs> freaking out around here. Spy, I had a glimmer of hope you're gonna take a dump. Uh, did you play that uh, CCI Shangpo? Say again. Did you take that CCI call Friday? I think it was. No. <clears throat> I didn't. 22% up. I just can't, can't make up my mind whether to take it and run or let it ride. Well, I have a uh, DKNG leap that I bought when it hit lows, <clears throat> when it went down like 11 bucks. And now I'm up like 200 bucks, 40 something percent. It's been over 50 or 60 percent here and there. But I'm like, man, do I, I want to sell it? Do I want to keep it? Uh, yeah, twenty five percent. What the hell? It's got till June seventeenth, so I'll let it ride for a little bit. I got always set a stop limit on the thing. Don't have to watch it. Mm hmm. What happened to Valk? That uh, blood work results come back from his STD test? Say again? I said, what happened to Valk? Did his blood work come back from his STD test? Oh, yeah, he's got the, he's got the herpes. Apparently. He's, he's got, got the herpes. <laughs> Who's beeping out here? Oh, man. Oh, hell, when are you going to drive that car across country so I can test drive it? Look at Spy go. That's what I'm talking about, Elber. Yeah. Did you stop out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
My 388 puts up 25%. <laughs> oh, now it's back down to almost nothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yet. oh, you should have if you didn't. Jesus. The oh, bulls are no, looking no. real strong right now. I gotta make a text nope. message. I hadn't stopped out yet. Uh, Can you believe Tom Cruise is like fucking 60? No. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Little Johnny Depp for what, like 58, 59? Yeah, but Don Johnny Depp looks 59. That's from all the drugs. Yeah. So how come every time I come up here and just, like, look back at my chart, it does exactly opposite of all the things that I'm in? Because you didn't read the chart right the first time. Yeah, when I when I walk away from it, it does what it's supposed to do. But when I come back, it's like, oh, sweet. Yeah, you're up. Not anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Spy, just give me those two lovely letters, F-O. <laughs> it sent me out the door. That just sucks. Mm-hmm. Oh, wonderful, very good, beautiful, perfect, nice, amazing, awesome. And fuel cell contracts are up 15%. I'm gonna need Spy to go back down to about 380 something in the next two hours. That'd be real cool. Real cool. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Probably just a stop hunt going on there for a minute. It's a really choppy day though. Like higher highs, lower lows. It's very uh difficult. You know? Mm-hmm. Pick a direction, spy G's. And that direction better be down. I also find it very odd that friggin' Spy has been moon missioning and almost everything else is, except the banks are going down, you know? Well... <clears throat> The spy will start off strong, and then it'll just fucking dump. I know. That's what I'm hoping for. It's just for. like, yeah, it just starts off strong, and then just, like, takes well, some shit. It didn't really start off strong today. It sold off into open, then rallied back into pre-market highs, and then sold off again, and then rallied just above pre-market highs, and now it's selling off again. Which is fine with me. I hope it continues to sell off for the rest of the day, because... If my 388 put goes in the money, I'm going to feel like a fucking champion. That'd be cool. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Look at the size of that red candle. Very good.
Who's just a kid? If that 388 put goes in the money though, that's gonna be a pretty good uh pretty good return for nothing. Imagine buying a forty dollar option and selling it for like four hundred bucks. Stranger things have happened. I bought that ALE option and sold it for like five hundred percent. Look at the fucking candles. Oh my god, Shankpo, look. What? Spy is dumping. Yeah, it is. Oh, I love it. I mean, if I see Apple under 130 again, I might be buying. <laughs> Options at 40%. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. That's bouncing off a of view up. I would feel much more confident in this if we would if Bears would take VWAP back. You know what I mean? Vern. You know what I mean? Vern? Sure. Yeah, I know what you mean, Vern. I know what you mean, Vern. Oh. Oh, look at it go! <laughs> what? What are you doing in my swamp? Oh. You bought a $90 put and sold it for $580? That's what I'm talking about. Those are the kind of games that make le that legends are made of right there. Just a casual what, five. What? what? Why didn't you tell us? We could use the money. <laughs> that would have been one of those days where Spy just dumped. I uh, actually did that not too long ago. I'm not very... I had spy puts on this day. I think I... Yeah, I bought one around in here. And then sold it like here. So, what, 400 to 393 ish Yeah. Like a seven hundred dollar game. I played this bounce a couple of times. I think the first time here I played it, and then I played the view up back to these highs, and then what did I do this day? I played this gap bounce here. That's a quick little. Bitty baby trade though. Yeah, spy is crazy. I played the plug twice yesterday. Yeah, I shorted this and then longed here. All right, I gotta run to a meeting. Awesome. See you, see ya. Bye. Come on, Spy. Go ahead and tank, my friend. A new follower. Thank you for the follow, Aiden. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. And how are you, my friend? What are you doing in my store, my friend? The rallies have been very short-lived for Spy the last couple of weeks. It's like almost all the rallies are failing. Like he had a good rally here and then it failed. And he had a good rally here and then it failed. 
So like it's given up like three or four days worth of gains of every single time one of these rallies fails. So like here, it's like, yeah, I'm going to break out and I'm going to go higher. Oh, no, I'm not. Man, imagine a two-day put here from 4.49 to 4.20. Lord have mercy. That would have been a good one. Here from 4.07 all the way down to 3.90 in one day. That's crazy. Oh, Spy is so bearish. I love it. Keep going down. Mm. Let me delete my little megaphone drawing here. A new follower. A new follower. Thank you, Stephanie Eugene. Keep dumping, spy. Neo is still holding. Just chilling. I might even hold this one until tomorrow. As long as that level holds. Could be good. I hate Google. Sorry, Shampoo. The stupid Google Home thing's all the time beeping at me. Shut up, Google. Stop listening to my conversation. I kind of want to buy... Oh, wow. So, Lyft went in the money, right? I had an option that I sold that went in the money. And it expired in the money, and it didn't get exercised. I had $19 puts on Lyft that I sold for like 50 bucks a piece. And Lyft expired at like 1880 Huh. That's interesting. Actually, yeah, that's frozen. I'm going to sell another one. Fifteen, $57 for the $19 put on Lyft. I'm selling it again. I actually would totally like to buy Lyft at $19. I'd be totally fine with that. This would be a non-issue. I kind of want to buy a spy put spread, too. Options. Uh, May 25th by puts. Let's do... 391, 390. That's 38. 33. Yeah, let's try that. 33 bucks. Damn it. How much you feel? Thirty-four bucks. There, it filled. He filled thirty-four dollars. There, and we're set. I need spy to uh, tank like a rock, Elber. That'd be kind of cool. Jesus, look at the. Friggin' green candles. One thing about spy. Hmm. Only one thing about spy. That's pretty crazy, though, the shit that it's doing right now. Like, there's a pretty solid war going on here.
It is interesting. Huh, Bank of America hit my targets. Should have held that option. We had thirty-five dollar calls. Hmm. Should have held it. Oh well. Look at J.P. Morgan. Eight hundred and forty percent gains. For the 125 calls today. Damn. Oh, how much is it up today now? Seven something. Damn. It's yeah. up again. The spy's breaking out again. Hmm. Dude, look at Bank of America. A new follower. Thank you all for the follow. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> oh, I love it. The guy's name, Elber, is Mike Hawk. Oh, no, I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. I think your put's gonna do so hot, Elber. Oh, I'm burning out. <laughs> oh, I yeah. My stop. I hit my stop about 20 minutes ago. I'm actually probably about to close my little lotto put here, too, probably. What do you think, Mike Hawk? <laughs> I don't see you look down. <laughs> I'm about ready to flip over and start watching the damn trial today. <laughs> The Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of those things. It's like it's impossible to not watch the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial because you're just like, Man, this is so. It's one of those things that's so dumb that you just kind of got to just watch it. Pretty much. <laughs> We were proud to announce a Weeble version 8.0 today. Enjoy our journey with Weeble. Tap to explore. I would like to explore our new features. Thank you so much for the channel's welcome. I would like to explore Weeble's new features.
More trading tools, option screener and price alerts. Take profit and stop loss order for single options? What? That's pretty lit. Highly customizable technical indicators and over 20 financial indicators with new alert settings for extended trading hours. Optimized screeners. New financial report analysis. Weeble version 8.0. More integrated feeds. Oh, that's cool, man. Is that only the mobile app? It must be. Because I'm down. Update. Let's go take a gander at these new features. Is there an update for the... Uh, uh, What's up? No. There's not? Are you yeah, sure? Nothing new. Well, it's an updated one. I wouldn't pay 5. attention. 5.10.0 is the current version. Yeah. It's already the latest version. Aw, I guess it's only for the damn... That's bullshit. All these damn yeah. mobile apps. Holy. It's like they try stuff out on the mobile and then move it to the desktop. And that would be the other way around. Oh no. They should do the desktop version first. Whoa. Markets. Watch this. Let's see what the new screener looks like here. Screeners removed to here. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. New point system is up running. You're able to earn points. I have 1,491 points. Welcome to Wee Bowl, where the points mean nothing and the answers are funny. Published posts or comments. Huh. Where's the screeners? This is not the screeners. There it is, screeners. Create a new screener. Moving average EMA, RSI, Bollinger Band, CCI, Fast Stochastic, MACD, Momentum, RSI, Williams Percent R, Classic Patterns, Ascending, Descending, Bottom, Top Triangle, Continuation diamond, continuation wedge, diamond bottom top, double bottom top, flags, head and shoulders, what? Pennant, rounded bottom, symmetrical continuation, what the shit? Engulfing line. Not reading the Kama Sutra. Engulfing line, exhaustion bars, gravestone dojis, hammer, hanging man, inside bars, inverted hammers. Key reversals, outside bars, two bar reversal, gap up or gap down. Dude, the Weeble screener doesn't suck anymore. <laughs> oh man, can I use this on the fucking mobile? Oh, please tell me I can use this on the mobile platform. Filters. Oh, it doesn't work on the damn computer yet. It only works on the mobile. Shit. Dude. That looks 
good, man. You can make custom moving average filters? R size oversold, R size less than 30. You can get Bollinger Bands, Bullish and Bearish Signals. Dude. CCI Signals. MACD signals. Momentum signals. RSI signals. Dude, that's crazy. Double bottoms. Double tops. Bro. This is the business. Oh, now my ex-wife is calling me.
Really, homie? He said, get off the phone. Huh. If you'll read up a couple of messages, I'm dealing with some, some stuff for my kid. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I don't think the spy put's gonna work. <laughs> Worth a shot, though. Everything's kind of consolidating. Ford did well. JP Morgan killed it. Oof. I love you too. I'm not smoking. This is a vape. Mm. Nothing's really happening right now. Yeah, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Neo's coming back. We got a bullish candle, a bullish candle on the hour. That looks pretty good. Just need this to move to confirm. I might hold this call. Actually. back finally yeah <laughs> I might hold this neo call until tomorrow maybe it just depends on how we close yeah. oh, what a wonderful day yeah yeah I'm, I'm just Who's is that your thing, Elber? Yeah. Uh, this is a commentary trial crap, you know. Oh, Amber Heard. <laughs> Amber Heard. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I wonder what Spy is gonna do towards the end of the day. I have that 388 put that I paid 40 bucks for just for giggles, but it expires today, and that's a long way away. I don't think it's going to happen, Elber. Oh, uh, it could happen. What that 396 call go up to? Oh, shit. I didn't realize 5 went over 396. <laughs> Damn, 129%. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I might just close this. Yeah, it's not looking. Uh, it's not looking very. Uh... Oh man, I'm a dumbass. Hmm. I still stand by that one. Uh, 
Spy likely trend up all day. I'm closing that put. Had an opportunity to sell for like 30%. I didn't. Oh, it's been a shitty day. I closed it. Oh well. Neo just started its new hourly candle and it's on a moon mission. 5%. I got chopped to death today over. Which really kind of sucks. Really sucks. Uh, let's see, volume. Uh, let's do custom. Let's just do greater than one million. No, let's do like that. Okay. There's a lot of them. I wish you could do any or hmm. I'm looking forward to this afternoon. Yeah. I don't like I don't like plumbing. Oh, dude, look at Spy go. Holy crap, well, there's a one go. second chart now. So what? There's a one second chart. Damn. That's crazy. Dude, this new Weeble Mobile is crazy. It's like auto drawing fucking channels and shit. Oh god, there's another phone call. <sighs>
Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, don't play earnings. Earnings is shit. Oh, you dumbass. Dude, look at Spy go. That's pretty crazy. Look. It's up to 390. It hit 397. Yeah. That's like a pretty good bull flag right there. Like right in here. Right there. Stunk. That'd have been a good trade. Look at the volume on it. It's 390, 350 to 3.96. 50 three dollars let's stop it now it's like a 50 cent stop too damn 393.50 yeah, 392.95 that'd have been a good one oh <sighs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hmm. I wish Neo would go ahead and break out. I'm actually about to go in a minute. Pretty well done right now. Yeah. You're not the only one. Fucking irritated. <sighs> you can get that all back tomorrow. I didn't actually lose that much money. I'm just irritated. You know? Phone call. Yep. I lost a little bit, but... Should have quit right after that opening range play. Oh well. And then Spy chopped me. So, uh, yeah, I am gonna go. Yeah, my damn son keeps getting in trouble. Little fucker. Again.
Yep. He'll figure it out one day. Hope it ain't too late when he does. God, me too. Little fucker. I'm not gonna stop vaping. Just like I'm not gonna stop drinking bourbon and whiskey. I like both of those things. <laughs> huh? I said we're cussing. I can't stop cussing. I'm a sailor. That's just how that's how life works. That's what you get your most flack about. <laughs> You're a school psychologist? Oh yeah, I'm very patient. I got you. Whew. 1,001 views on this video. I'll take my 32% profit on these other calls or let them ride being they're still three or four weeks out. Which calls? CCI. How much are you up? Mm, 30, 31%. 31%? Yeah. How many do you have? Four, I think. I still have of them. CCI. Yeah, absolutely. Sell half of them. What? Look how much it's up. It's a pretty bullish candle right now, but I'd sell half of them. That's, uh... That's a little sketchy. I'd sell half of them. I'm about to sell this uh, Tri-State Capital, I think, maybe. Probably not. I'm probably going to let it run. 30.11 sounds about right. Uh, damn it, Neo. It's going to reject again. All right, I'm going to go. I'll see all of you tomorrow. Later. Have a good one, Bob.